hi everyone welcome back in this php video tutorial we are gonna learn how we can connect the pay you money payment gateway with the php so let's start with the pay you okay so first of all we need to an account and if you don't have an account just create account so i'm going to close this page because i already have an account this one okay so let's see what we are going to achieve in this video so you can get the estimate uh, to without wasting your time okay so this is my simple form i'll just create it and i'm going to submit it and after that it will redact on the pay you payment gateway so here you can see that the amount is done here and here he, she's asking for the paypal sodexo Taze, and all these things and this is a payment gateway and if we are going to put the details here uh, the money is going to detect from our account all right so just go back from the here all right so now let's start uh, this is our coding part before uh, going through the coding part uh, okay so we will delete this code and do it from the very scratch but before that let's let's take a look on the uh, dashboard and all this so here you can see that uh, after on the going to the dashboard your account and integration information you will see this kind of information you are not able to see the march and key test key because i just hide them due to the security purpose all right so you will uh, get the all these keys uh, most probably your march and key and the test key are the same and there is just a one difference uh, here you can run the test sandbox or you can run the original one pay, pay you all right i'll tell you that after that you have to click on the here he'll, he'll here you he will ask that a quick integration with the card like the uh, sophie or uh, open card etc or do you want to just go with the java or php with the code so i'm going to click for the code here and it will redirect you on this page that developer dot money dot com to the redirect it will uh, it's a very slow page so it will take some little bit time so be patient mm -hmm. okay till this page is going to open uh, should we have to uh, see a code once again so all right so what we are actually need for this information we need the merchant key salt text text and id and name email address amount phone number success url and failure url and production product information after that these we one need one more thing which is the hash key hash key is generated by the this sequence first of all we have to put the key which is the merchant key then we have to tax and key this one then we have to amount put these amounts and all these things in this regular and udf there is uh, have uh, around 10 udf and if you don't have the udf then you can put the blank dot blank lines here and at the last you need the salt information after that you have to uh, get the hash key with the sh 25512 uh, and hash key will need to pass here as the uh, in the form with the name of hash after that you will be able to redact so let's see oops this piece space is not going to work how would it happen okay uh, my last page is also lost here let's let's check the internet first of all is internet going to work or not internet is going to work okay 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 that's that's working fine now so you can see that there is a product uh, overview if you want to go for the overview and we are going to here integration so let's click on the integration and here is the getting start okay so first of all uh, there is a form uh, the HTML is given here and the URL is given here and how we have to use these keys is also given here like the key tax and key amount and all and hash is also given as, as just i told you that in the sh256 and 
we need the sequence of keys you can see that encrypted value generated the protect action data template during the transactions okay so we need this one also so now uh, I'm going to delete this form okay so uh, okay, we, but we can delete in this form we can delete the form first of all this one all right and these informations are uh, we can put here because it will take the same time we have to just give the name whatever you want the merchant key you will get from here uh, you will get from the here and test key or margin keys here salt will you get from the here and here okay these are the another my test keys so I just hide from here because these are the uh, my live credentials so I cannot share with it alright so now uh, this information I'm not going to delete this is a sequence as you see so we don't need to put this also delete and this is my uh, hash string which is I just put the everything the merchant key tax ID amount and production information name and this and I'm uh, these are the optional thing the UDF these are the optional so I just put them option so we don't need to uh, we don't need that so I just put the blank uh, blank lines here blank pipes here all right so now just uh, delete all these keys now just go come come back here and copy this form from here so that it will help you a lot to save the time all right so I just copy this here paste it here and now you will see a big large page whoops so there's a lots of information so we don't need the optional parameters so I'm going to delete them and if you need uh, you can add sim you can simply add them uh, but as for now to save time I'm going to remove them all right so if you want to remove the extra things you can also remove them all right so now we next we need to just uh, put them so let's suppose you are just come from the your form and you are here just for confirmation for that uh, I'm going to put my key here my key is margin key these are the hidden fields here so be careful with the security purposes all right we add the margin key here just copy the value from here and it will help us to save the time okay so we don't need the hash string here I think okay so put here value hash is like dollar hash taxon ID uh, you can generate your uh, your taxon ID with the random keywords so I I'm just using this one to make it uh, to keep it a simple tutorial oops what exactly it is taxon ID all right taxon ID all right so now just uh, put the amount here amount oops use the dollar amount which is mentioned the above side dollar name dollar email dollar is I'm going to wrong something yes I'm going to just wrong something
all right now <laughs> copy again one seat so just put here uh, successful URL so my successful URL like the S U R L. so this is my F U R L okay for if you are on the test credentials so you have to put this blank service provider I think everything is filled now okay we have to fill one more thing which is uh, product information is dollar product informations let's come back here and let's see oops I got the notice on first echo okay I just put the double course here okay fine so we are settled everything here we just set the hash key taxon and everything so just refresh it and try to push it oops <laughs> we, do, we did not put the uh, action of form so here is telling that if you are on the production then you have to use a secure dot pay your data in otherwise you can use the sandbox uh, secure dot pay you dot in with the payment okay so where is my form start all right nice one so now just go back refresh it and just try to submit it and let's see what's going on so here is some issue okay so what's that actually uh -uh. Let's I have to check that one. I'll get back to you within a one second, just have to resolve it. I'm going to pause this video. So guys, I found the mistake. My uh, I just use the hash key here. I must have to use the phone number. So uh, I have to use the dollar phone. Just refresh it oops it's directly going here okay and just submit it and now you will see that it's going to the this screen all right so here the all options are here so okay so just come back for here to understand once again but we just do it okay so guys you have to need uh, these things these are the very primary things to uh, uh, mandatory information we can say that margin key salt taxon id name email id amount phone number and surl and these things and then we need a hash sequence hash sequence need the a sequence of these keys and we just we can use like that and if you want to use the for loop or uh, for loop and the for each loop for these then this is also fine but the sequence should be generate as same as it is all right so this is the hash string and hash should be passed here with the form so there is nothing more than it and you can find this code on our github account and the account uh, link is given in the description box so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of confusion you can Put me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Alright. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching.